Hello guys, welcome back to another codingbat.com tutorial. Today we will be doing Array 2 Exercise Fizz Buzz. The exercise says this is a slightly more difficult uh, version of the famous Fizz Buzz problem, which is sometimes given as a first problem for job interviews. Consider the series of numbers beginning at start and running up to but not including end. So for example, start equals 1 and end equals 5 gives the series 1, 2, 3, 4. Return a new string array containing the string form of these numbers, except for multiples of 3, use fizz instead of the number, and for multiples of 5, use buzz, and for multiples of both 3 and 5, use fizz buzz. In Java, string.value of certain argument will make the string form of an int or other type. This version is a little more complicated than the usual version since you have to allocate and index into an array instead of just printing. And we vary the start and end instead of just always doing 1 to 100. So here, if we look at the first example, 1 through 6, uh, you will first notice that the size of the array is actually equal to the end minus the start. So if we look at the example given in the problem, the start and start is 1 and end is 5. 5 minus 1 is 4, and the size of the series is also 4. So, um, yeah, so if we look at the first example, start is 1, end is 6. So we know that the size of the array will be 5 because 6 minus 1 is 5. If we look at the result here, uh, we can see that it is equal to 5. And next thing we want to do is change the multiples of 3 and 5 into the appropriate phrase. So there are no phrases here, or there are no numbers here that are uh, multiples of both 3 and 5. However, um, 3 is a multiple of 3, so we replace it with fizz, and uh, 5 is a multiple of 5, so it's cha uh, it's replaced to buzz. Um, we have a similar concept here in phys in example two, except number six here is also a multiple of three, so it's changed to phys. If we look at the last example, um, the same thing is going on here, except this time nine, which is also multiple of three, is changed to phys, and ten, which is a multiple of five, is changed to buzz. So the first thing we want to do is we want to create the string array that we will be returning. So we can call it result. And remember, we made the observation that the size of the array will be equal to the end minus the start. So we can set the size equal to the end minus the start. And then we will be looping. i equals 0. So we set it equal to zero because we want to start from the beginning of the array all the way to the size of the array. In fact, to make it a little more easier to understand, we can change this to the size of the array or the length. Now, here we want to create a temporary variable which is equal to i plus start. Now, why do we do this? This is because the start can actually vary. So um, let's say, for instance, we start at, let's say, 56. And let's say you immediately just put the value of i into the string array, then you end up with variables, oh, uh, you end up with values such as 0 and 1, when really you have to start at 56, or whichever number I said before. So um, we change it, we set a temporary value, which is equal to whatever iteration of the for loop we are on, plus the start. And 
this temporary value will be what we are going to be putting into our string array. So if that temporary value is a multiple of three, uh, we can check that by using the modulus function. So if we use the modulus function and it is equal to zero, then we know that the, the number is a multiple of that second number. So if it's a multiple of three and it's a multiple of five, what do we want to do? We want to change that number at i to this buzz. Now, if that number doesn't satisfy those conditions, then we check if it's only only divisible by three. If it is, then we set the value at that index in the string array to be fizz, or else if it's divisible by five, then we set it equal to buzz. And finally, if none of those conditions are satisfied, then um, we just put in that number. However, because this is a string array, we do need to convert the integer temp into a string. And the problem here says we can use string string dot value of. So we will say string dot oops, string dot value of temp. And finally, we will return the result. And then we get all correct.